For teachers that have many assignments, it can seem like a lot of scrolling to find the one that you want. Fortunately, Infinite Campus contains sorting and filtering features to make working with the gradebook easier and more efficient. First of all, you can change the number of assignments the gradebook displays at one time, just by going to the Settings menu. Just select the desired number of assignments per page, and the gradebook will immediately update. These page number toggles will appear at the top of the gradebook, and you can use the arrows to quickly cycle through the pages or jump to the end or beginning of the assignments. The sort options allow you to determine the order in which assignments appear. If you choose due date, all assignments will be arranged by due date in either ascending or descending order. A lot of teachers choose descending order so that the most recent assignments will appear first. If you choose category instead, your assignments will be grouped by their categories in alphabetical order. Within each category, assignments will then be arranged by due date. Sort by sequence takes a little more work to set up, but it allows you to precisely determine how to organize your assignments by giving each assignment a sequence number. When you create an assignment, the sequence number is defaulted to one, but you can change that at any time. Multiple assignments can have the same sequence number and the numbers don't have to be consecutive. So you could have a group of assignments with sequence number five and another marked sequence 10, and all assignments with the same number will appear together in the gradebook when sort by sequence is selected. In addition to the sorting options, you also have filtering options, which will display only specific assignments or students in the gradebook. There's two types of filters, student-specific filters and assignment filters. Suppose you want to see all students who have missing assignments. Under the student-specific filter, select the missing score flag, then click apply. This will display all assignments in your gradebook, but only those students who have missing ones. Notice that the filter button now has a blue circle on it. This indicates that a filter is being used. If you want to clear the filter, just click the button again and select clear student filters. If instead you only want to see the assignments which are missing, you can select the assignment specific filter, choose the missing score flag and press apply. Now the gradebook is displaying all students, but only the assignments which at least one student has missing. If you want to display only students who have missing assignments and only those missing assignments, you can use the student and assignment filters together. Select the missing score flag on both student and assignment filters and click apply. Now the gradebook will display only students who have missing assignments and only those assignments which have at least one missing flag. You may notice that these filters can also be used to select only passing or failing grades, specific categories, or to view an individual student or assignment. If an individual student is selected, only their assignment scores will appear in the gradebook, along with a box and whisker diagram of their results. If you don't know how to use a box and whisker diagram, you can click on it for some information about it. Or you can just click this arrow button to shrink it and then you won't see it anymore. By using these arrows, you can quickly skip to the next student in the roster without having to go up and change your individual student filter. You can also remove an individual student filter just by clicking the Show All button. You can also activate the individual student filter without having to go to the Filter button at all. Just click the arrow next to the student's name and select Hide Others. Filters can be used for a lot of different things, and I encourage you to play around with them yourself and find out what works for you. If you have any more questions about using filters or anything with Infinite Campus, please feel free to contact us at the Department of Technology. 